Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to more Final Fantasy X Owns Figured Riku only original Monster Arena creations. And this time it's uh, Earth Eater. And I did say I was going to try and take out some more of these, so here I am with another one. But unfortunately, there is no way for me to kill this guy using damage alone. So as you can see, all I need is auto haste and death proof because of uh, Megaton Punch. And basically, there's a very, very cheap way of, of beating this guy. And all you're going to need is the six items here that I've, that I've highlighted. And I think all of these are obtainable through either bribe or uh, stealing or whatever. So you can get these items. And to be honest, the reason why you can't beat this guy normally is because he pretty much counters everything. And he, and he pretty much hits like an absolute train, so I think anything that does damage to him he counters, perhaps, because he didn't counter this, but yeah, so as you can see, that's 255 turns, so this battle is actually going to take a hell of a long time, so I'm just going to, you're going to see about 3% of it. But uh, Riku with 60 agility and auto haste can come back from this every single time without fail. So how do I beat this guy? I use Hyper Mighty G 255 times. Is it pretty? No. Is it particularly ingenious? No. But as you can see, I mean, you can't use um, Protect to reduce the damage from Megaton Punch. And he's hitting for 80,000, so there's absolutely no way I'm going to bring that down. Obviously the only thing to note is that I have uh, Stoic Overdrive, so Riku, Riku's Overdrive charges when she takes damage. And because I've got Death Proof on, uh, Megaton Punch, instead of doing zero damage and knocking me out, it, it does 80,000 damage. So basically, she's guaranteed to, to have an Overdrive every single turn. So yeah, that's... Uh, Unfortunately, that's that's all I can really do for this guy. I, I've tried to think of ways to to knock him down on his back by doing a hundred thousand damage, but that requires me having to to mix an overdrive and then and then kind of attack it twice. I can't get it down in one hit. I have to attack it twice, and obviously that by the time I do that, it, it takes me out because. I'm not sure which it is, I think Megaton Punch, either it's a like rank 2 or rank 1 action so he gets his turn more quickly or or if he does KO you it has a it has a delay effect on the rest of the party or something because sometimes he gets like 2 or 3 hits in a row so yeah so basically other than Doom uh, with these restrictions I can't really fuck with this guy unfortunately but for the sake of uh, just being able to say I defeated him this is the only way I can do it. Um, this leaves behind uh, Thuban, Neslug, and Ultima Buster. So I'll I'll talk more about those when I after I skip the video through to the end. So as you can see, this is I don't do anything different at all. So it's this for the next hour, unfortunately. Okay, I'm back. As I, as I predicted about 55 minutes later and thankfully because it's repetitive I've been able to do other stuff in between so I haven't had to stare at the screen doing the same shit for, for an hour so it's not been it's not been too bad and this arsehole is about to die um, as I said about the the final three original creations left I think Neslug is immune to doom so that makes him pretty much hundred percent impossible because I cannot do enough damage while he goes into his shell. I mean, you recover something like 60, 70,000 HP per turn. So there's no way I'm going to do 2 million damage through the shell. So unfortunately, I think that's it for for Neslug. There's no way I'm going to kill that thing. Um, Thuban, it looks extremely unlikely because he counters everything as well. And Ultima Buster, I mean, 5 million HP and extremely powerful attacks. It looks extremely unlikely, but if I figure something out, I will let you guys know. 